So a few things have happened since a full look at the latest Lily Pete drama, and I'm going to discuss them real quick. Let's talk about the elephant in the room first. Lily Pete commented on my latest video about this full look at Lily Pete drama, saying, Mate, for your own mental health, stop following these lunatics. Latest p pit of Lily Pete drama might as well be synonym for some neocons are getting triggered again. I actually like that title. It's a really good title. Um, some people are asking, if Lily Pete said this, why am I not stopping this type of content? Because this goal has not been to impress Lily Pete or anything. It's been to call out misinformation. And if you people who disagree with Lily Pete happen to have the most misinformation, that's their fault, not mine. Anyway, since then there have been a few more developments, mainly... E4B reblogged Sega Sisters post and then added my video. Um, this is one of my. Let's, let's just get this started. Yeah, I'm going to share this because people should know the kind of person Lily Jerry Pete is. I've shared my encounters with rather manipulative White Knight earlier this month. Um, first off, I thought I used the term manipulation too much. Now you guys are using that. You stole that trick from me. Just admit it. You guys stole that from me. Oh. Um, here is another section of the post. As usual, he proclaims how none of Pete's critics, us included, can comprehend what they are saying once they challenge the mighty god emperor. Now, this is one thing E4B does a lot. Oh, you disagree with me! Oh, you're just you're just a white knight, a fanboy. Let me get let me just get my R slash red pill buzzwords out. Um, in one instance, he brings up a post where someone asks thoughts on, you're wrong and that's okay, we link back to a previous post, and on said previous post, he screams about how we never posted a link. Actually, I said that I had no clue when the post came out, and therefore did not have any proper context to judge the post on its own merit, but okay, because we don't know what our audience is thinking, we give them the benefit of the doubt and assume they're caught up on what's happening. We don't treat our audience like children. However, if Ephraim forgot the reason why we linked back when someone wanted our opinion, I would say that's the fault of Ephraim. Um, just a reminder, the post they linked back to was a post saying that Lily Pete's titles are bad now. If, if you linked to a post that was like a full debunking of you're wrong and that's okay, then okay, I would have had no issue with that. I would have judged the post on its own merits. That's not what you did, though. <laughs> and even then, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the post they linked back to came out before you're wrong and that's okay. I'm just pointing that out. Um, the last post I want to talk about is from Sega Sister, but it actually starts off with E4B. Basically, someone posted an image saying, Because Sega Sister is apparently irrational for choosing her love-slash-friend over a stranger. Well, if her love-slash-friend is being irrational, which voice of reason was, I'd say, yeah. She was also being irrational. Um, then she mentions me, and by the way, Sega Sister, I would actually like to have said this to you on Tumblr, but I can't. Because you blocked me on Tumblr, even though Lily Pete's apparently in an echo chamber, and I've never interacted with you on Tumblr. Just, just get a reminder, Sega Sister blocks me on Tumblr. Before I've even interacted with her, I have never talked to her on Tumblr or talked about her on Tumblr. She blocks me on Tumblr and then goes and says Lily Pete is in an echo chamber. Uh, but basically, here's what she said. Basically, one of Pete's followers asked me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how rational do you think you feel right now? Um... Actually, what I said was, on a scale of 1 to 10, how rational do you consider yourself? Because it, it was actually supposed to be an H-Bomber guy reference. I'm surprised a lot of people didn't catch that, man. Although, probably shouldn't be. Uh, but basically, the joke is, oh, that sounds like something 
that you just say and you think, yeah, I got him. I'm rational because that was when she said earn that respect, Jerry, which, don't worry, is completely clever and rational. She then says, so I'm apparently irrational for agreeing with voice on the subject of having different opinions and not trying to force people to change them to prove that I'm right or something. Um, yes, I get it. You're trying to be part of that. Think for yourself by conforming to us counterculture on YouTube. But please stop. You're not very good at it. Um... That's, of course, assuming that's what that sentence was supposed to mean, because really, I that wasn't at all coherent. Um, she then goes into examples on why she disagrees, on times she has disagreed with Voice of Reason, which is really good, actually. I'm happy I now know that, and I'd like to apologize and retract my statement that you were only agreeing with him because he was your boyfriend. Granted, if you didn't constantly bring up the fact that he was your boyfriend, maybe I wouldn't have, you know, thought that in the first place. Here's the thing. If it's really so irrelevant, in this case, like you're basically trying to claim it to be here, why did you need to bring up the fact that Voice of Reason was your boyfriend to begin with? Why? And why is it whenever anyone called you out and called you irrational, you said, Am I irrational for agreeing with my boyfriend? You said that constantly. And then when people got the idea you were only agreeing with him because he was your boyfriend, you're like, How did these people get that idea? I don't know. I don't know how they got that idea. Because you constantly said that. That's how. And then there's this part, which I just like so much. When, which she says, even, in, even so, in spite of our difference in opinion, we're still attracted to each other, body and mind. The latter was what got me attracted to him. I like that statement. Because in the last post I covered in my previous video on you, you used the show being aimed at young girls as an excuse for voice of reason making bad arguments. You remember that? You think so highly of your boyfriend's intelligence that you use the fact that the show is aimed at young girls as an excuse when he says something stupid. Just amazing. Just amazing. So basically, you call me out by not using my name, thanks for that by the way, on a platform that you blocked me on, gave me information that I couldn't have possibly known. I didn't know your opinion on the live action Beauty and the Beast remake, that's one of the examples she gives. Um, because I really don't care about it, honestly. I don't sit there thinking, what is Sega Sister's opinion on the live-action Beauty and the Beast remake? But anyway, I didn't have that information. There was no way I could have had that information is what I'm getting at. Um, that openly contradicts previous statements you've made. And then say you love your boyfriend's intelligence that you previously compared to that of a little girl. Just, I'm Ephraim and good night. <laughs>